بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. The question arises: What is the most important thing for us to study? What is the important, most important thing we should know? What is the most important knowledge that we should begin ourselves with as believers, and we should continue with until the day of judgment, until we uh, pass on from this life? And ayu al habba, that question be, can, can be answered by the uh, very profound statement of Imam Muhammad rahimahullah ta'ala when he said, A'zam ma amarallahu bihi ya tawheed, wa huwa ifrad Allah bi ibadah. He said, rahimahullah ta'ala, that the greatest thing that a person needs to know is tawheed, is the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is singling out Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone in worship, meaning all of our worship is directed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tawheed, ya ibadullah. Tawheed, meaning understanding that Allah is the Lord and creator of the heavens and earth. Understanding that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship and understanding that he has divine names and attributes which we supplicate and worship him by those names and attributes and that they are unique to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this regard, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ وَهُوَ سَمِيعٌ بَصِيرٌ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirms in this ayat, He says, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ That there is no one, nothing that resembles Allah. So Ahlul Sunnah, we don't make any resemblance between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His creation, and His divine uh, sifat, His attributes. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so Allah negates in this ayat that there is nothing like Him. لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ and he is the all hearing and all seeing and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears everything and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees everything and this is real this is real ya, uh, ya ibadullah and this affirms for us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he possesses hearing and seeing but unlike us as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the first part of the ayat so there's no resemblance yes we hear yes we see yes animals hear and animals see for those that are that have vision and those that have uh, hearing. But as Allah says, Lisa committed shape, that there's nothing that resembles him. So their hearing and seeing is imperfect. And you don't make a resemblance between the cre the creation's hearing and seeing and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's hearing and seeing. But Allah does hear and see. Know that and understand that Ayyul Habba. Then the Imam said to let us know further about the knowledge we need to know. He says, وَأَعْظَمْ مَا نَاهَا أَنْهُ وَالشِّرْكُ وَهُوَ دَعْوَةُ غَيْرِهِ مَعْهُ وَكَمَا قَالْ He said, and then the, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said, and the greatest thing that Allah prohibited, or the most serious thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibited, is shirk. And it is. Sub, it is uh, worshipping with Him, or other than Him, someone or something. Letting us know, Ayyul Habba, all of our worship goes to Allah. And what we need to know and understand is Tawheed, first and foremost. That's how we begin our da'wah. That's how we begin our call to Islam. You don't invite people, you don't say to a non-Muslim, please leave pork, please leave alcohol, please wear, wear hijab uh, if, she, if it's a female. No, but you begin your call with calling to Allah and the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then when they're blessed with Iman, if Allah favors them with Iman, they begin to practice the other things and stay away from the uh, things that are prohibited. Ayyullah Habba, this is imperative for us to know that this is the methodology of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and in fact all the messengers alayhim after salatu as salam as Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةِ رَسُولٍ إِنْ نَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَجْتَنِبُ الْتَعْقُونَ And we sent to every uh, nation a messenger to worship Allah and avoid, be far away from those things worship besides Allah. Letting us know again, the messengers were sent with what? With Tawheed, with worshiping Allah alone. And they were sent with what? To prohibit from shirk, to be away from shirk. And this is what they called their people to. This is the commonality between all the prophets and messengers, alayhim afdal salatu was They had the same minhaj, the same methodology. Ayyul habba 
understand this and practice this and understand the call to Tawheed. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with the battle of sunnah, with sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.